It was a fundraising effort for the Explorers Program, uh, post-9244, established uh, over 20 years ago in Oxnard. Over 200 youth from the local area have gone to the program. It's absolutely a great program in terms of teaching leadership skills, giving them an opportunity to learn what the fire service is all about, having a chance to actually uh, go to emergencies and see what a firefighter does each and every day and we hope that through that exposure that uh, at the end of the day uh, we help these young uh, men and women, uh, boys and girls, uh, grow up to be uh, productive citizens. Fundraiser for the uh, fly, Fire and Police Explorers started out, this is the second year they've done it and they've, this year they're going to have over 200 runners they hope and it's just a phenomenal event. I, the first chance I've had to make it out here and I'm just impressed at the number of people here and, and the events are doing it's wonderful and it, and it does a serves a good cause. Out of that building, run straight down the little runway here, up to our next building. You'll enter that staircase, you go back and forth up to the roof. You actually come out on the roof, there's a helipad up there. Your timing stops as soon as you exit onto the open air. Okay, so your timing will stop there. Go up onto the helipad, enjoy some photos. There are also staging photos up there if you want to take a picture with you or the other ones you're running with. We'll also have some fire equipment up there if you want to you know, throw some of it on or look like you're rented in gear or any of that kind of stuff, feel free. Uh, those photos, the staged photos, because we have a photographer out there, they're going to sell those photos. They'll have raffle tickets and they'll explain to you how we need to do name, bid number, and phone number on those. And you can purchase them with cash down at the bottom of the glass tower. Once you come down out of that building, there's a public safety day out there. There's fire engines, police cars, our Oxnard SWAT team set up some equipment out there for you guys to see. A bunch of vendors that are somewhat related to fire, public safety, police, things like that. So please take a moment to go out there. There's a food truck, scratch food truck, is out there with some great food for you to enjoy. Um, as far as the event goes, keep in mind there's a water um, set up in this building. There are every seven floors, so like seven and 15 has water. There's a water station between the two buildings and the runway. And again, it's seven, 14, and up on the roof. The roof is gonna be like 24, and then going up onto the roof. So that'll help motivate you as you guys go. Um, there's also water at the base of that tower. There's cases of water over here if you want some. Grab a bottle of water here. There's cases of water on the roof. There's cases of water on the base of the Public Safety Bay area. So we're looking forward to having you guys out there. Um, if you want to buy those group photos, they're going to do it for $7 at the base of the other towers. And we're doing a staggered start if you didn't know that. So we're not all rushing, running eating to each other in the staircases. There'll be uh, about 10 seconds in between each person, but that'll go real smoothly. We don't need to be in numerical order or anything crazy like that. You can run next to your partners and, and everyone will go. When you're going to the staircases, just try to stay to one side, so that way if there is someone running faster or slower, then they can get by. And I hope you guys really enjoy your event today, okay? I am being reminded... I am being reminded of one last thing, that if you're taller than about six feet, there's potential for you to hit your head accidentally on some of the beams inside the building. Unfortunately, I can't move those, but it's only about three spots in the building, so it's not very bad throughout the building. But on some of them, the beams are a little bit lower, so if you're taller than like six, two or so, you might want to watch your head on some of those spots. All right, thank you very much. We'll see you out there.
up. If you guys want to run with your family, if you guys want to run at the same time as your family members, you can. But yeah, so you all make the time.
is James Stanley, and I am the creative director for Drag Racing Against Dra uh, Gangs and Graffiti, or DRAG for short. We're a 501c3 after school program uh, located here in Oxnard, and it's actually run by a few volunteers from the Oxnard Police Department. So basically, kids come into our class once a week, uh, and they are taught everything about cars, everything from basic maintenance to full-on restoration. Right now, they're actually doing a 1979 uh, Z28. It's a complete frame off restoration. We're hoping to finish it by this next semester. We also have, as you can see over here, we have a 2013 Ford Focus ST uh, done up in our uh, local uh, police uh, paint scheme. Uh, the kids at the in the program actually built the car. They did uh, uh, all of the modifications to it. They even helped out with the paint. And uh, what am I forgetting here? I uh, was actually featured at SEMA this last year, SEMA 2013 in Las Vegas, won quite a few awards, uh, including one directly from Ford themselves. Um, and it's been on tour ever since, going to a bunch of different shows. It's even gone to the Long Beach Grand Prix, uh, March meets up in Bakersfield, which is a big uh, NHRA uh, drag racing event. Um, and we also have a 2006 uh, Ford Mustang GT. Uh, which is supercharged by Vortec. So the great thing is, is this is all uh, put together by grants and donations. There's no city money, no tax money using it at all. And it really does help the kids uh, keep them busy, give them uh, definite life skills that they're gonna be able to use later on in life. And uh, we even have job placement where a lot of the kids go into the uh, automotive industry. Uh, learning quite a bit and uh, keeps the kids safe. Huh.